By understanding the specific risks and weaknesses within an organization, it becomes possible to tailor your defenses to mitigate those threats effectively. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be giving you six different ways to protect yourself from a ransomware attack. Nowadays, in the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity threats, ransomware has emerged as a significant threat causing a lot of trouble for individuals, businesses, and even governmental organizations. A ransomware attack can cripple systems, compromise sensitive data, and demand a hefty ransom for the restoration of services. As the threat landscape becomes even more sophisticated, organizations have to adopt proactive measures to defend against ransomware attacks. And so, we're going to be taking a look at six different methods to protect your devices and systems from ransomware other than the most obvious one, which is installing an antivirus software. Speaking of which, if you don't already have an antivirus or are looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below, along with some discounts, so make sure to check them out. Okay. So one of the first steps in defending against ransomware is to conduct a thorough assessment of an organization's vulnerability to such attacks. This involves evaluating the existing cybersecurity infrastructure, identifying potential entry points for attackers, and understanding the organization's risk profile. Regular vulnerability assessments and penetration testing can help identify and patch vulnerabilities before malicious actors exploit them. By understanding the specific risks and weaknesses within an organization, it becomes possible to tailor your defenses to mitigate those threats effectively. Next, we have user training. And that's because human error remains a leading cause of successful ransomware attacks. And so, Organizations must invest in educating and training their employees on ransomware response action. This includes recognizing phishing emails, avoiding suspicious links, and understanding the importance of quickly reporting any unusual activities. Regular training sessions and simulated phishing exercises can improve user awareness and resilience against social engineering tactics, commonly used by ransomware attackers. Moving on to the third method, we have the principle of least privilege. The principle of least privilege is a fundamental security concept that limits user access rights to the bare minimum necessary for their job function. When it comes to defending against ransomware, implementing this principle helps contain the impact of a potential breach. If an attacker gains access to a user's account, the damage can be limited by restricting the account's privileges. This approach prevents the unauthorized escalation of privileges, making more challenging for ransomware to spread laterally within an organization's network. Now, before we move on to the other methods, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why, Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files. The Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint instant data leak notifications with Surfshark Alert, and Surfshark Alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. 
All right, so moving on to the fourth method, we have ransomware governance. Establishing and enforcing ransomware governance policies is important for creating a solid cybersecurity framework. This involves defining and implementing a set of rules and procedures that govern how the organization handles and responds to ransomware threats. Policies may include guidelines for incident response, communication protocols during an attack, and escalation procedures. Regularly updating and testing these policies would make sure that the organization is well prepared to respond effectively to a ransomware incident, which minimizes downtime and potential data loss. Next up, backups. Regularly backing up critical data is a fundamental defense strategy against ransomware attacks. In case your devices get infected, having up-to-date backups allows organizations to restore their systems and data without responding to ransom demands. However, the effectiveness of backups relies on their accessibility and integrity. Regular testing of backup systems would make sure that data restoration processes work as intended. Organizations should also consider the secure storage of backups protecting them from potential ransomware encryption. By continuously refining and testing ransomware response strategies, organizations would improve their ability to recover quickly and effectively. And finally, we have operational readiness. Now, cybersecurity is an ongoing process that requires constant work. Maintaining consistent operational readiness involves regularly updating and patching software, monitoring network activity for anomalies, and staying informed about emerging threats. By quickly applying security patches and updates, organizations close potential entry points for ransomware attackers. Also, continuous monitoring would allow you to detect suspicious activities early on, which results in a rapid response to mitigate potential threats. Other than that, proactive measures, such as threat intelligence, sharing and collaboration with cybersecurity communities, would contribute to staying ahead of evolving ransomware tactics. And that's it for today's video on the six different ways to defend against ransomware attacks. Don't forget that the most effective and efficient method to protect against ransomware is to use a reliable antivirus software. So if you're looking for recommendations, I'll leave some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend, as well as discounts in the description down below. Also, if if you like the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. And that would be all for today and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.